How do you put out comic pages faster? I've talked a little bit about this in an earlier video about in general drawing faster. So I think I'm gonna do a follow-up today going into the details and give you even more tips on how to put out pages faster because that is super important when you're making web comics because there's a lot of pages you got to put out or you're going to be working on this for many years which isn't bad but i understand if you want to get your first comic out of the way and move on to better work when you're planning out your pages choose the most important panel in the page. This will be your your focal panel, I guess, or your focus point. There's another term for it, I think, but I can't remember what it is right now. So basically, all your other panels will focus around this panel. It's where you want the attention to go from your reader. Um, it's got the most important information of the page on it. It could have a cool composition, whatever. You know, there's so many reasons why could that go into choosing your your focus panel. But what you should do to make your comic page go faster is to put, instead of putting all your effort into every single panel, put most of your effort into the focus panel. The only panel that super, super matters on this page. That way you're not bogged down by adding detail to every single panel and spending way too much time on little panels that don't matter. Don't get me wrong, if you want a comic with lots of details, you can go ahead and put details into every single panel, but if you want to do things quickly, definitely choose one to put to put all your effort into. Uh, I talked about this one in the last video about drawing quickly. Drawing your pencils loosely, one, it'll keep you from focusing too hard on the pencils, which are eventually just going to be covered up by inks anyways, and it allows you to jump into inking quicker. Honestly, it'll make your inks more fluid because those will kind of act as the pencils, where the pencils kind of act as a thumbnail sketch. I guess like a more detailed thumbnail sketch instead of like nearly finished pieces of their own, if that makes any sense. So yeah, it'll get you into the trickier portions of pages faster. So the trickier portions being inking and maybe coloring. One thing that's really helped me put out a lot of pages really quickly. At this point, it's it's just how I do my process. <laughs> so I don't know how I was doing it before because I started doing it really early into my comics career. But I do everything in batches of pages. So for example, I'll do five pencils at a time. So five pages of pencils. And then when those are done, I'll go and ink those five pages, and then when those are done, I'll go color those five pages. And the reason I do that is to... it keeps me in the zone when I'm, say, working on pencils. Like, so if I do one page full of pencils and then move on to the next, I don't have to switch my brain over into kind of, like, inking mode, where I have to be a lot more, like, refined and concise with my lines and really, like, hammer down the the forms of things, where penciling is super loose. So keeping myself in one mindset at a time helps push the pages out faster. Because you know when you get in that zone and you can just like go and go and go? That's how I tend to get when I'm working in batches. Uh, I find it really helps me push through the tough stuff. It gets rid of interruptions and and changing focus and losing time. Another thing I do in a similar sense, I tend to jump between panels. You've probably seen it if you've watched me working on the comic pages in this series. <laughs> but basically I find when I first sit down and start working on like a batch of pages, I find like the easiest panels or the panels I want to do, say like facial expressions. That's one of my favorite things to draw is facial expressions. So I'll go and find all the panels where it's just focused on the face, um, and draw those. And I'll focus on those and I kind of jump around between pages and between panels. So for example, I'll have like five pages open uh, in Clip Studio and I'll just jump between them doing whatever panel I feel like doing. If I get stuck on a panel, I'll erase it and go to a new panel. That's easier. I do tend to get the easier panels out of the way first and then focus on the harder ones near the end. Again, I've got that like focus brain going on so it's a lot easier to get into the really detailed hard work. And it keeps me from getting stuck. It keeps me from focusing on a page, especially if say that page or panel isn't working. Like I, I talked about in a previous video about like killing your darlings. It keeps me from getting stuck and overworking something. It's like Sharks, they gotta keep swimming. You know me, that shark, Ursula Grey. I don't even know if that's a true fact. I'll have to ask Bones 
if I guess it depends on the species of shark. Anyways, be a cute little shark and keep going. Um, <laughs> so another way I tend to look at my pages, it's kind of weird, but I see pages as like continuous works in progress. As in, if I don't draw it perfect, I can just edit it or redo it or iterate on it. So when I'm going through my batches of pages, if there's something that isn't perfect, I go, eh, I'll catch it in the next round of edits. And I do that a lot, well, especially when Bones and I are, say, putting out a print volume. We go through all our pages and we write down things we want to correct and then we make edits. Um, instead of fixating on a page forever and making myself focus until it's done, I go, eh, that one panel's kind of weird, I'll fix it later. It's one, it's very freeing emotionally, <laughs> uh, and two, it definitely keeps me from getting stuck and keeps me swimming along. Admittedly, I am definitely spoiled by digital art where I can open my file and go in and kind of change the different layers and stuff where I understand if I was doing traditional, I'd probably be a lot more careful with how I do things. Um, however, if you're doing traditional, there's nothing stopping you from cutting and pasting later in Photoshop, for example, or doing another iteration on the page. Anyways, <laughs> I've also talked about this last point before, but doing tomato times or pomodoro times or doing like sprints of work with breaks in between will really help you get your stuff out faster. I notice the way I work is I'll do these really intense like sprints, even when I'm not doing Pomodoro time, uh, where I'm just focused for maybe like 10 minutes and I get a ton done and I go really, really quick, just jumping around between panels and then I'll stop and I'll maybe take a break for like 10, 20 minutes and then I'll go back and I'll do another really hardcore sprint. <laughs> um, and I find it keeps things fresh for me. This might, this one might just be like a way my brain works where I work, I need to do those sprints to keep from getting stuck. But I think that's the whole point of all this is just keep yourself, bleh, keep yourself from getting too stuck on little details that don't really matter. Sometimes you're gonna put out a page that's got a lot of mistakes in it. That's okay. Like I've said in the past, having art with mistakes in it is totally fine as long as your intention is clear. Because of the nature of web comics, where you're going to be working on this thing over a long period of time, you're going to improve. So you might as well get that speed down and the skill will just come naturally. I hope that has helped motivate everyone and given you some tips on how to draw faster. It definitely takes some practice. Although, admittedly, I know I've gotten slower the more I go. <laughs> like when I was first starting to do comics, I could throw out like 10 pages in a sitting and they'd all look like crap, but they were done and I still learned a lot doing them. Um, and I've gotten slower in recent years because I start paying more attention to like quality control. But, you know, when you're beginning, getting that speed is probably the most important thing. You're gonna make some crappy pages, but that's okay because you're gonna be putting them out super fast, hitting all your deadlines getting tons of readers, and being really proud of yourself. Because you're a cool cookie. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, and I'm sure you probably have tons because I don't even know what I talked about. Man, where, we, where am I? Who am I? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Cool,